solids. The majority of things we come in contact with every day are solids. Such as bricks, houses, doorknobs, refrigerators, and other people. SOLID! The general properties of solids are reflected on the orderly arrangements of their particles. The atoms, ions, and molecules in solids are in fixed locations and tightly packed together. They are dense and not easily compressible. When solids are heated, the particles within them begin to move more rapidly as their kinetic energy increases. When a liquid reaches its freezing point, the particles slow down and become packed together as a solid. When a solid reaches its melting point, the particles vibrate rapidly and the kinetic energy increases, causing the molecules to overcome attractions and become a liquid. Solids with ionic bonds have higher melting points because ionic forces are very strong. Molecular bonds that are found in solids have low melting points. Solids have two main structures, crystalline and amorphous. The crystal structures are seen when the particles are arranged in an orderly three-dimensional pattern called a crystal lattice. SOLID! There are seven different types of crystal systems. Cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic, hexagonal, rhombohedral. The shape depends on the arrangement of the particles in it. This is called anisotropic. In an amorphous solid, they have no definite shape or orderly pattern, such as foams, gels, mayonnaise, and rubber. These substances have no definite melting point. This is called isotropic. Well, that's solids for you. Solid!